Hello and welcome to a new video about my studio light. Last time we managed to produce a web page where we can put something in. Today we want to receive this value and do something with this value. Well, I did some reading and I found out ooh, I should have used another server implementation. Eh? There, there would be another server, asynchronous web server. However, I decided I'm going now to, to um, check the arguments on my own. I just need one argument and hey, a little string parsing, why not? Eh? So I am adding a string and this is arc string yeah? and adding a string which is arc value yeah? and I'm adding an integer no uh, integer value right and uh, if I'm reading an argument or not whenever I am Whenever a client is connected, so here, yeah, I will set this arg string to nothing. I will set this arg value to nothing, and I will set this argument to zero. So we are not in an argument right now. So and here, I have to check if c equals and the sign was, was this. Oh, let's start. If switch, okay, switch, switch argument case zero. If C equals question mark, argument is one. So now we're an argument. If we have received, received a question mark. All right, break. This is good. Case one, we we are in an argument. Yeah. Oh, well, if C, how did this look like? How did this look like? This string we have to pass, pass. Question. Equal. The equal sign is the last thing. The equal sign is the last thing. So if C is not equal we will add we will add to arg name arg string plus equal c else and now the string is ready now the string is ready now the string is ready and I will say if arc string equals what? Uh, what was this? Is was bright. Then argument is two. We are next step. Else argument is zero. We already break. Good. And here I have to check. If it's the second argument in the row, then I have to also add or C might also be what is the what is the the thing which is an and sign. Here it is and sign. So or an and. Then it also might be a new argument name. Alright. Uh, case two. Uh, Let's make it like this to be sure that this arg value equals zack zack. And I will also do an output. If um, verb html dot uh, uh, info. What, what I have used, used last time. Uh, verb communication. I will make a print out. Yeah. Found argument zero dot print print and then we will arc string, right arc string. Good. So we 
Put this out. Yeah. Good. In case two, uh, if C is not like N, if C equals new line, this might also occur. Ooh, this might also occur, right? Right? This might also occur. No. HTTP. So it might be a space or it might be might be an N. And not equal space. Then we say arc value plus equals C else. with value, arc value. And then I will say arc value. I think there is two int. Look at that. Yeah, and this must be the bright, bright set point. If Rufzeichen, not a number, this. So if this is a number, then it's not working. Ah, dot C string. This is all right. If this is a number, we are converting it. Mm -hmm. And we say argument equals zero, and we have this arc, arc string equals zack zack, and arc value equals zack zack nothing. Right, so actually, we should parse this already. All right, we should pass this, hopefully, with our with our case structure. The last one has no break. Doesn't really matter. I will edit. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Nothing really changed with value 7 and 9. All right. I will do this anyway. And let's make the structure a little bit different. Equals. See. Let's see. Okay. We are connected. Fun. Found argument bright. This is working. Once again, set brightness. We are somehow one to less. What is that? Found argument bright with value. So something is happening. Bright set point. This seems like it would work. The second argument is also not found. 
I'm not sure why. Ah, mm -hmm. yeah. If C equals N argument equals one, else okay, this is clear. This is clear. But here we are setting obviously the brightness set point. Why is this not working? This must work. One thousand five hundred twenty one setting brightness six hundred seventy three. Why is it always one later? Hmm? They're switching. How is this possible? Is this the reason? Mm -hmm. Now it's working. There is the original site, the last visitor site is in there and I've processed the previous and the last site. Hey, yay, 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 yay. All right, but I guess, I guess now it should be all right. I guess now it should be all right. Let's see. Upload finished. Yes, look at that. Now it's working. Sliding down. Dark. If I cover it. Oh. Right, sliding up. The set point should be high. Set. All right. Very high. All right. All right. Finally. Yeah. If you look at this request here, there was the last, the last thing, and this has nothing to do. I always or also par parse the last. This is the request here, yeah? and somewhere later comes a line. All right. So this is why I always switch in between. It's working too good. It's too good, yeah? and. Now, however, I want, I don't want to press this button all the time. I do not want to press this button. So I somehow have to implement also in my, this I'm getting rid of. Ah, keep it in. Why not? <clears throat> I will do a second function here, not only on input, but also on mouse up. I will make 
document get element by id and this id is now by form is called form here it is and i will call submit get element by id document slide on mouse up so all, every time i am i will slide with mouse up i don't have to press the submit button hopefully using the on mouse up event let's see if this is working yes Yes. So I just have a slider and whenever I have a mouse up I will write maybe the width and so on. Now, now it comes to the details but basically it's working. Basically it's working. This is good. This is good. Alright. So make this pretty. Ooh, this is not pretty. This was not pretty. So the output, debug output, good, good, safe. All right, so we can web server. Okay, I said, okay, with the IP address, I'm not satisfied with the IP address. So I will look, have a look into how to add a little display. Uh, I have some displays, spare displays here, yeah, because I bought them at one point in time. And right. Huh? So now it's time to use them. Flashy, 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 flashy. <laughs> Thank you very much for listening. <laughs> Goodbye.